Hello editor. Once again welcome back to Darkwool VFX Studio. In this video we are talking about how to create this type of raining text effect using DaVinci Resolve Studio. For that, go to Media Pool. Here, right click and create new fusion composition. Now, give a name. Rainy Text. Now, go to the frame rate and change the frame rate to 60. Now, click on Create. After that, drag the Fusion Composition to our timeline. Now, go to the Fusion tab. Here, we get a Media Output. Now, we need a text. Drag it from here. Or you can use the Tool menu by clicking Shift Space. And type here Text and choose the Text Plus node. Then, click Add. Do one of these. After that, after that, we need to add a particle emitter from here or you can use the tool menu by clicking the shortcut shift space and type here P emitter. After that, click on P emitter, open tool menu, type here P directional force. Add that. Now, open the tool menu once more and type here P turbulence. Okay, after that, we can add P render. You can drag it from here or click on turbulence and click here or you can use the tool menu. Okay. After that, connect the render out to media out. Now click on P emitter and go to inspector. Here we can see an option region. Click that and change the option sphere to bitmap. Now we get a new connector. So we can connect the text to P emitter. Great. After that, click on the text and here we can write something like Dark Wolf, Rain, anything you like. I choose a word Dark Wolf. After that, go to P emitter. Now go to controls. Here we can add the number to 100. After that, go to style and change the style to point cluster. Great. Now we can go to the text node and drag a pipeline from text node to P renders output. Now we get a new merge node. We can right click on the merge node and choose the option swap input or you can use the shortcut command T or control T. Now we can play the video it's look like this. Now back to text you can increase the size of this word and you can arrange it like this. Nice. Now click on the P render and add a motion blur. Select the motion blur node and add a motion blur. Now go to the inspector, change the type to faster to better. After that motion blur range large. Then motion blur 200. Now you get a rainfall like this. Now you can change the rainfall from backside. You can right click here and swap input. Otherwise you can use like that. Nice. Now you can drag a background from your folder and place here. Now connect a pipeline from this media and connect it to merge output. Now right click here, swap input. Now you get a nice effect like this. That's all. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. See you in next time.